Okay, good fishing times are here. Uh, spring is here, so it's time to go fishing. The most important part of uh, uh, fishing for some people is the color of the water, how much mud is in there, and whether it's clear or not. I will put a link on these websites that I'm mentioning, but one of them is a daily satellite picture that we have here. You basically go pick the date. Uh, this recording on, is on May 25th, 2022, uh, 26. So you get the previous day's satellite image live from two different satellites, Terra and Aqua. You set the item to 250 miles. You pick your region. This is available in the United States only, unfortunately, for Canadians and Europeans. Uh, I don't. I'm sure there are some uh, websites like this available from, uh, but I don't know if you know how to find them. But I'm sure they are available. Uh, will you pick USA one, USA two? I happen to live in the USA seven. I picked that. Uh, these two satellite, Terra and Aqua, uh, I think they're about six or eight hours apart, so you get two different completely image of, uh, maybe one of them has a cloud covering and the other one doesn't, but uh, you scroll down, this is the water that I like all the time. We're looking uh, for green water, we got green water, so and uh, if you go to a previous day, uh, or actually, even if you change the satellite, uh, because there's there's a difference and the tides have changed since then, um, you may get uh, a different color water because of uh, high tide and low tide difference. But here's a good image. You can see some uh, streaking of bad water, dirty water right here. Dirty water right here, some green over here, but uh, dirty water right here. You want it to be green and pretty uh, for many fish that want to see your bait or lure. Uh, so this is my favorite, and uh, the report is one day old. Very important. I will put a link for you. From there, we go to the next one. Uh, not that one, this one, okay. This particular one, uh, it seems like quite a few coverage, but you have stations that show you the wind speed live. We're talking about right now, the day you wanna go, the hour you wanna go. So if you're in fishing, you probably don't want a lot of wind. Uh, so you go to the station and this is one way you can do it. Another way you punch in your zip code when you go, but let's go pick this one. It will tell you the wind speed, the gusting, the air temperature, the water temperature, and here's more data right here if you want to see a uh, past couple of hours. Remember, this thing uses the uh, universal time zone. So in my case, everything is six hours behind. When it says 15 right here, you take six hours off of it. Uh, it's a UTC, uh, I believe. The so you can see uh, more stuff like uh, water, air pressure, and uh, many other options that you have. You can also go back. So if you're into sailing and you want to make sure you get a lot of wind, look this up. If you're into fishing and you do not want any wind, look this up. I will send the link. It's very, very nice. So uh, you can have all these on your cell phone so you can have access to it. So anyway, from this, we're gonna go to, obviously, most important part, weather. 
Now, this is just something that everybody knows, weather.com, punch in your zip code right here so you can have storage of the information. I'm tracking Galveston, Dallas, Tulsa, and Frankfurt, Germany at the same time. Uh, but uh, if you punch in your zip code, you can track your own city. Now, this particular website has one flaw. When you look at this picture, you see no, uh, you have to click on it to get uh, update information. Click on it, uh, don't get, so now you can see the weather as of today. And obviously these guys in this area, which is around Tallahassee and uh, Mobile, Alabama, probably not a good idea to go fishing, but if you are on this side of the water, all of this is available. A couple of small showers. This one is simple, everybody knows about it, but use it. So from there, the next more, most important part is this website that tells you uh, tides. Tides uh, will determine if the fish are active or not. You always wanna go when the water is moving for whatever reason, whether it's downhill, wind pushing it, or tides moving it. Uh, so I use this website and uh, you just go click. You can pick the date. We pick May 26, and we pick three days report. There's another one called uh, Tides for Fishing. It's a lot fancier, but uh, I like this one more. Uh, so anyway, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, moon visibility is uh, important right here uh, because if there is a lot of moon the, at night, the fish like trout will feed all night. So when you go in the morning, some people say uh, on, a, on a slower month, like uh, midsummer, they say they already ate and they're not going to be active in the morning. So you may want to go in the afternoon when they become active again because they're hungry again. So anyway, uh, those are some of the top choices. I hope you enjoyed. Go fishing, go boating, and have a great day.